the latest anime isekai were widely premiered in 2022. Some of them may be ongoing and some are still waiting for airing by enthusiastic anime in the world. Anime isekai has its own characteristics such as reincarnation and main character being an overpowered. Here we will show you the top 10 new anime isekai who main characters is overpowered in 2022. Let's see the follow of this video. Let's go! The Greatest Lord is reborn as a typical nobody. As the most powerful entity of all time, the demon Lord Varvatos thinks life is a big fat snore. But he was lonely after losing all his friends. When he takes matters into his own hands and decides to reincarnate, he calibrates his magical strength to be perfectly average. But there is no way he could have predicted that everyone in the modern world would be weak as hell, which means he is totally overpowered once again. Reborn under the name Ard, he has ladies fawning over him, the royal family begging him to become the next king, and an ex-minion insisting on killing him. Unfortunately, his memory is still intact, and he doesn't realize how much he has lost during that time. This also seems to be at the expense of his normal life. But Art has a one-track mind, and he won't stop at anything to achieve his ultimate goal. I'm quitting heroing. After saving the world, the strongest hero Leo became someone who is not wanted in the peaceful human world. However, instead of the world's admiration or gratitude, he only received blasphemy that he was too strong. Exiled, he seeks a job at the Demon King's army, which he had defeated and needs to be rebuilt. The army had many problems, too much work and many financial troubles. Leo encounters Echidna again, and asks her why she invaded the human world. There was an unexpected story, exiled Leo seeks a position in the army of his former nemesis. But the army is not what it once was before its defeat at Leo's hands, so to maintain his new position, Leo must whip the forces back into fighting shape. The Strongest Sage with the Weakest Crest Anime genre's action-adventure and fantasy telling story about the reincarnation of a magic user who has run out of expansion to improve his abilities, because he is blocked by a mark that has been there since he was born. Even though he could use the most powerful magic, he still felt it wasn't enough. The only way to get more power is to come back to life by reincarnation. Besides wanting to be strong he also intends to find a formidable friend so that he can practice magic by involving more people. Then after the reincarnation magic was activated he woke up as a noble child named Matthias Hildesheimer. The reincarnation that was done, it's just that it might take a long time to remember all the memories from the previous life. He also gets a special mark for close combat. The mark allowed him to use fire magic, close-range shooting magic, as well as other highest magic level. My Isekai Life Yuji Sano have a job in Black Company employed. There is Meiki summoned to another world while finishing his work at home. His profession in the other world, a monster tamer, is considered a job that makes it difficult to become an adventurer. However, thanks to some slimes he met, which read several magical books, he gained magical powers and a second profession, Sage. This is anime character near with slime make Otaku curious and waiting for this anime. Princess Connect, Redive Season 2. In the continent of Astria, a man falls from the sky, possessing no memories other than his name, Yuki. An elf named Kakuro finds him, introducing herself as his guide in the world they are about to traverse. With Kakuro's guidance, Yuki is able to learn how this world works, from battling monsters to handling currency. To earn money for their journey, Yuki and Kakuro decide to go to a nearby guild association to accept a simple quest. In their expedition, they meet Pakarine, a somewhat gluttonous but charming girl skilled in battle. The next day, they also meet Carol, a cat girl specializing in magic. After some time, a bond of friendship and camaraderie forms between them, 
and the four decide to create a guild of their own. Their adventures progress, the mysteries behind Yuki's memories, Carol's allegiance, and Pecorine's heritage begin to come together seemingly forming the truth that makes up the world's very foundation. She professed herself pupil of the wise man. In the virtual reality online MMORPG game called Ark Earth Online, there is a famous player who holds the title of one of the nine sages or the highest position held by magicians. But one day, Dunbath and the other nine wise mages suddenly go missing, leaving no trace behind. In an effort to spend his expiring credits, Dunbath had purchased a cosmetic kit and tinkered with his character, however, he accidentally fell asleep during the customization process. Then when he woke up suddenly the world of the game he was playing turned into a more realistic. He can interact with NPCs and can feel all the five senses he has. The most notable change is that her character changes from an old ascetic to a cute young woman. In the end she hides her true identity to avoid any troublesome questions. Because he has the equipment and appearance similar to the sage in the new world. He admits that he is a disciple of the sage who has the same skills as well. Now tasked with finding the other missing mages by King Solomon, the avid role player proclaims his new identity as Mira, the pupil of the wise man Dunbath, and ventures forth to prove his legacy. In the land of Leedale. It was an anime adapted from a novel with the same title. The main character named Kana who was born into a rich family. During her life she was unlucky, because of an accident executed Kana to become paralyzed he could not do any activities other than playing her favorite virtual game. Until one day she died and was far in the future, exactly 200 years later, Kana rose again in the world of the game he often played. In the game world called World of Leedale, she became a rare elf with a very high level, and was famous for having the unique ability to provide support skills to others. Often she was swarmed and taken advantage of by people who want to get skills instantly. The various magical powers and unique skills possessed make life in that world easier. She also gained freedom after being paralyzed for so long. As she comes to learn, 200 years have passed since she last interacted with the world. However, this does not sadden Kana, as it means that a new journey awaits her, filled with exciting prospects and unfamiliar faces all waiting to be discovered. Fantasy Bishujo Tells the story of a man and his closest friend who are summoned to another world. In the fantasy world of Tachibana Hinata plans to become an unrivaled most beautiful woman, while Jinguji turns into a superhuman who is very strong. It all started when Tachibana was jealous of Jinguji who was always popular with girls. Every girls that Tachibana likes in the end always approaches with Jinguji. Tachibana who feels heartbroken then hopes to become the most beautiful woman in the world and make all boys like her. Then his wish was granted by the goddess and they both suddenly move to a parallel world. They are both chosen to be heroes to save a world in crisis. Inevitably, they both have worked together to carry out the order, and get their lives come back again. Arifurita, Season 2 Tells the adventures of a transfer student named Nagumo Hajime, along with all his classmates who were both summoned to another world. In charge of saving the world, they also gain various special abilities to fight to conquer the maze monsters. In that world Hajime had a hard time because he was betrayed and dropped by his own friend. The second season of this anime will continue the story of Nagumo Hajime's journey in another world because he is still alive and appears as the strongest person and getting overpowered. This shocked the person who had tried to kill Hajime. Now after saving his classmates, he ventures for Arizon to escort Mew and her mother. He'll fight and defeat anyone he has to in order to find a way home, including a god. The Rising of the Shield Hero, Season 2 The four cardinal heroes are a group of ordinary men from modern-day Japan summoned to the kingdom of Melromark to become its saviors. 
Melromark is a country plagued by the waves of catastrophe that have repeatedly ravaged the land and brought disaster to its citizens for centuries. The four heroes are respectively bestowed a sword, spear, bow, and shield to vanquish these waves. Naofumi Iwatani and Otaku becomes cursed with the fate of being the shield hero. Armed with only a measly shield, Naofumi is belittled and ridiculed by his fellow heroes and the kingdom's people due to his weak offensive capabilities and lackluster personality. He is soon betrayed by her however, and becomes falsely accused of taking advantage of her. Naofumi then becomes heavily discriminated against and hated by the people of Melromark for something he didn't do. With a raging storm of hurt and mistrust in his heart, Naofumi begins his journey of strengthening himself and his reputation. Further along however, the difficulty of being on his own sets in. So Naofumi buys a demi-human slave on the verge of death named Raftalia to accompany him on his travels. As the waves approach the kingdom, Naofumi and Raftalia must fight for the survival of the kingdom and protect the people of Melromark from their ill-fated future.